In a world where mega conglomerate Vought International controls a team of superheroes known as the Seven, which includes Homelander, Queen Maeve, The Deep, A-Train, Translucent, Black Noir, and Starlight, a group of vigilantes sets out to expose their corruption and abuse of power. After killing Translucent as retaliation for A-Train ending his girlfriend's life, Huey teams up with Billy, Frenchie, and Mother's Milk, or MM, to take down the Seven. When they investigate the logistics of the super power boosting serum Compound V, the group meets a mute female soup, Kimiko, who's been injected with the substance. After taking her to telepathic superhero Mesmer, they discover that Vought's been distributing Compound V to militant groups worldwide to pressure the US military to recruit soups. To get back in Vought's good graces, Mesmer betrays the group and informs Homelander of their identities. As the group moves forward with their mission, Billy grows increasingly concerned about Huey's closeness with Starlight, due to his own belief that Homelander caused the disappearance of his wife, Becca. Meanwhile, A-Train recognizes Huey, so he takes his father hostage. During the confrontation, Kimiko breaks A-Train's legs, allowing Huey and his father to join the rest in a CIA safe house. Deputy Director Rayner promises to keep their loved ones safe after they provided a sample of Compound V. She confronts Vought VP Madeline Stilwell and threatens to expose the company, but the rise of soup terrorist Nakib complicates things. After recognizing Billy, Homelander interrogates Madeline about Becca, and she reveals she was pregnant but died and lost the baby in childbirth. While hiding out in a motel, Frenchie, MM, and Kimiko are captured by Vought's soldiers. Huey wants to rescue them, but Billy is determined to go after Homelander's weakness, Madeline. Huey asks Starlight to help rescue his friends, which they accomplish. However, during the escape, A-Train intercepts them, but the speedster suffers a heart attack. Billy takes Madeline hostage, straps a bomb to her body, and awaits Homelander's arrival. As Billy watches, Homelander tells Madeline he knows she lied to him about the child before killing her. Billy triggers the explosive, but later awakens outside an unfamiliar house where he's shocked to see Becca and her child with Homelander. In Sandusky, Ohio, the deep spirals further into depression after being kicked out of the Seven. At Vought, CEO Stan Edgar holds a meeting with the Department of Defense. He negotiates his terms of placing soups in the military, which will keep Compound V top secret and give the company 34% collateral damage allowance. In Syria, Black Noir is on a covert mission to kill soup terrorist Nakib and his men, sparing a child whom he awkwardly tries to comfort with a stuffed animal. During Translucent's funeral service, Homelander holds a eulogy and blames the soup cartel kingpin El Diablo for his friend's death. Starlight then sings a powerful ballad dedicated to the fallen soup. Meanwhile, an intoxicated Deep watches the live coverage at a bar, becoming more bitter about his situation. Elsewhere, Huey also watches the stream in a dilapidated room. Later, Starlight visits a mechanically ventilated A-Train. As Huey leaves his room, he sees Frenchie working with illegal trade smugglers, MM tending to injured associates, and Kimiko learning the English alphabet. He then exits their hideout, a basement beneath a pawn shop. Huey then meets up with Starlight at the subway, where he gives her information on a Vought employee whom she used to go to church with. Huey expresses jealousy over Starlight's newly assigned actor love team partner, and they argue for a bit before he exits the train. In Sandusky, an embittered Deep causes trouble at a children's water park and is arrested. He's then bailed out by Eagle the Archer, a compassionate soup who offers him a fresca. Meanwhile, the group watches a TV segment that recreates Billy's supposed murder of Madeline Stilwell and ends with an announcement of their group's capture. Frenchie and MM plan to escape to another country, but Huey urges that they procure some Compound V and expose it to the media. However, they're skeptical of his plan and hesitate to participate. At the Seven Tower, Homelander visits Madeline's old office, takes a leftover bottle of her milk and drinks it. Ashley interrupts him and thanks him for offering her Madeline's old job. She then takes him to the gym to introduce him to Translucent's replacement, a blind soup named Blindspot. Homelander feigns amazement and strikes Blindspot's ears, making him both blind and deaf, as he won't accept disabled people joining the Seven. He then informs Ashley that he'll be in control from now on and instructs her to spy on Stan Edgar. Later that day, Starlight follows Huey's target and her old acquaintance, Gecko, to a motel. She records him accepting money from a businessman in exchange for chopping 
off his arm for pleasure, which immediately regenerates. As MM builds a dollhouse for his daughter, a severely injured smuggler arrives, asking for aid. His associate informs Frenchie of the situation, which leads the group to visit the docks to check the security footage. They learn that Frenchie's colleagues were also smuggling human cargo and are shocked to discover that they brought a telekinetic soup terrorist into the city. At the Seven Tower, Homelander and Ashley observe a market survey session for their military campaign. Homelander proves to her that the slogan, Saving America, resonates more deeply with their audiences, as it's Americans who'll be voting to keep the soups in the army. Hours later, Deep wakes up drooling on a couch with Eagle beside him. He's then introduced to Carol, who offers him a fresca. Eagle credits the woman for helping him when he was depressed and encourages Deep to open up to her. However, Deep refuses, but Carol claims she'll help him rejoin the Seven, and offers him a book to read. In the basement, Kimiko is convinced that the soup terrorist is someone she knows and tries to inform Frenchie, but he fails to understand her. Huey then argues that they should deal with the soup terrorist, and suggests they turn to Starlight for help. However, MM becomes furious upon learning that the pair have been communicating and fears that Vought has already located them. But Huey is adamant and suggests they ask Rainer for support. Elsewhere, Annie strategically bumps into Gecko in a diner, and they bond over their youth ministry days. She then shares how she lost faith in God, before blackmailing him into stealing a vial of Compound V for her, since Gecko works in the Vought labs. Meanwhile, Homelander and Queen Maeve are shooting a commercial for their military campaign, where they meet a fellow soup named Stormfront, who's live-streaming their meeting. Stormfront then announces that she's the Seven's newest member, as per Stan Edgar's decision, angering Homelander. The vigilantes meet with CIA Deputy Director Rayner and inform her of the newest soup terrorist. She then deduces that a coup might be happening inside Vought and is about to elaborate further when her head suddenly explodes. The horrified men, covered head to toe in viscera, quickly escape the scene, afraid their heads might be next. An enraged Homelander rushes back to Seven Tower, confronts Stan Edgar for hiring Stormfront without consulting him, and threatens to leave Vought. Calmly, Stan explains that their company's founder, Frederick Vought, was a prominent German military officer who tested the premature Compound V on the concentration camp victims. After deciding to side with the Allies instead, President Roosevelt granted him pardon and granted him American citizenship. Stan then elaborates that Vought is not a superhero company but a pharmaceutical business. He expresses utter disdain at Homelander for smuggling Compound V to terrorists to cement his deal with the military. Stan expresses his quiet anger for Homelander risking putting Vought in a public scandal that could have caused the FDA to expose them. A humiliated and indignant Homelander flies to Becca to see his son. Meanwhile, the group returns to the basement to clean themselves up. Huey is dismayed for having a hand in Rainer's death, but MM believes that Vought assassinated her for attempting to spill their secrets. Huey then receives a call from Starlight, who informs him that Gecko has agreed to steal a Compound V sample for them. However, Huey tries to stall her plan of leaking Compound V to the press, and Starlight quickly senses that he's withholding information from her. She begs him to tell her the truth but becomes despondent when she realizes he's lying to her again and hangs up. A body suddenly rolls down the basement stairs, followed by Billy, who asks Frenchie's comrades not to shoot him. Huey is exasperated at Frenchie for calling Billy for help, but Frenchie explains that they need a real leader. Later, Billy stares at a crayon-written description of Becca's house and remembers that after awaking in a New Jersey parking lot, he rushed inside a restaurant and scribbled down what he remembers of the details of Becca's location. He then overhears from the TV that he's now wanted for Madeline's murder and flees the scene. Meanwhile, Kimiko continues to fail to communicate with Frenchie what she knows about the soup terrorist. Billy then informs them that he'll meet with an associate who can help them locate the soup. Infuriated, Huey confronts Billy for abandoning them and reappearing like nothing happened. Billy apologizes and tries to explain that he isn't Madeline's killer, but Huey doesn't believe him. However, Billy is unfazed by his accusations and reaffirms his place as their leader. Meanwhile, Homelander plays catch with his son Ryan. While a concerned Becca watches them from a window, Homelander tries to convince Ryan to use his powers, but Becca interrupts them and tries to get the soup to leave, but Homelander refuses. In Sandusky, Carol is having difficulty with Deep during his therapy session, and informs Eagle he's a lost cause. Eagle takes over and makes him drink a hallucinogenic drink to make Deep better understand himself. Elsewhere, Starlight, Maeve, and Stormfront power through a grueling press conference for their new marketing campaign, Girls Get It Done. Maeve then gets an emergency call about her ex Elena and leaves despite Ashley's protests. Concurrently, Grace attends Rainer's funeral, notices a peculiar edible arrangement among the flowers on the pew, and recognizes it's Billy's doing. 
After the service, Billy confronts Grace and deduces that Vought killed Rayner for almost uncovering their secret of smuggling a soup terrorist into America. However, Grace storms off as she doesn't want anything to do with them anymore, but Billy begs her for help, and Grace reconsiders. After ingesting the drink, Deep hallucinates his gills admonishing him for violating women's bodies because he can't accept his own. Deep begins freaking out and tries to leave the room, but Eagle and Carol locked his door. May visits Elena at the hospital, who was rushed in for a burst appendix. She then watches over her ex as she recovers from the operation. Meanwhile, Starlight and Stormfront endure more press conferences and interviews. During one segment, Stormfront gets irritated and goes off script, saying women and men can do things equally, contradicting their slogan, which infuriates Ashley. A-Train suddenly appears in their interview, having recuperated from a heart attack he suffered days prior. Starlight is visibly shocked, but plays it cool in front of the cameras. Later, Starlight catches up with A-Train to congratulate him for his recovery, but A-Train confronts her about helping Huey and the others escape. However, he hasn't mentioned Starlight's betrayal to anyone, choosing to keep it a secret to use as blackmail against her later. Billy returns to the basement and reveals the deal he struck with Grace. If they get her the soup terrorist, she'll have their records wiped clean by the CIA. However, Huey is dubious of his plan, but Billy relays the terrorist's location and relishes that he is able to put Huey in his place. In San Dusky, Deep's talking gills continue reprimanding him. He's then forced to confront his negative body image issues and breaks down. His gills sing, you are so beautiful, and Deep eventually joins in. Meanwhile, Starlight tells Stormfront she agrees with her stance against Vought during their segment, but Stormfront believes Vought is using Starlight to know whether she'll abide by their rules. She then leaves when she spots Gecko making his way toward them. Gecko hands Starlight a vial of Compound V, but she refuses to receive it as she can't get away from the press at the moment. However, Gecko threatens he'll expose her if she doesn't take it and leaves. Starlight attempts to hide it in one of her boots when A-Train appears, curious at her encounter with Gecko. He then tries to find the package she received from Gecko, but she deftly hides it in Stormfront's bag. Elsewhere, Becca drops off Ryan for piano lessons and rushes to the Vought security gate to speak with Dr. Park. Becca is livid that Homelander knows where they are and demands they make him leave them alone. However, Dr. Park has no authority to do so as Corporate has allowed Homelander access to their son. He then claims Homelander will get bored and move on, but Becca is skeptical as she watches the soup on the security cam feed. Meanwhile, Homelander is loitering in Becca's house. He drinks her milk and smells her clothes when he finds a secret compartment containing pictures of her and Billy. At the hospital, Maeve is cozying up with her ex when Elena tries to make her leave. Maeve then admits that Homelander is a controlling psychopath who'll hurt anyone who gets too close to her, citing he once decapitated a producer who had taken a liking to her. She believes he'll murder Elena once he finds out about them, which is why they can't have a public relationship. As Ryan prepares for bed, Homelander tells his son they are gods and can do anything they want since no one can stop them. Outside the door, Becca tells Homelander to leave, but he informs her that she was right in thinking he won't become bored with fatherhood and will continue to assert his place in their home. Later that night, the group arrives at the soup terrorist's location, a Halloween costume costume store. Kimiko recognizes a member of the Shining Light Liberation Army, the militant group that captured her and her brother as children and killed her parents, then gruesomely beheads him. She then finds her brother Kenji, and they share a tearful embrace. Frenchie and Huey see this, deduce he's the soup terrorist, and try to inform Billy he's Kimiko's brother. However, the determined Billy still attempts to take Kenji out. Huey stops him, and Kenji uses his telekinetic powers to bury the group under debris and flees the store with Kimiko. Meanwhile, Starlight goes to see Stormfront to retrieve the Compound V from her bag. Starlight tries to tell her that she agrees with her opinions against Vought, but Stormfront informs her to shed her good image and be more aggressive during marketing shoots. At the Halloween store, the boys manage to free themselves from the rubble. An enraged Billy is about to hit Huey for losing their target, but the latter explains that the CIA will imprison Kenji and Kimiko will never see him again. Billy still doesn't listen and dismisses Huey's concern. However, Frenchie and MM stand their ground because Kimiko is part of the team, and they don't want to hurt her. With no other choice, Billy reveals that his wife is still alive and is being held captive by Vought. He further divulges that Grace promised to give him Becca's location if they capture the soup terrorist for her. Billy earnestly begs them to help him break her out even though he hasn't been the greatest friend. At a playground, Kimiko and Kenji tearfully recall being injected by Compound V against their will and lament becoming monsters. They then apologize for not being able to protect one another. Later, Starlight texts Huey 
believe that she was able to retrieve the compound V. As soon as she forwards the message, a train suddenly appears and takes the pouch containing the vial. Starlight tries to weasel her way out, but a train lets her know he'll be informing Homelander of her planned betrayal. However, Starlight isn't intimidated and threatens to leak the forensic report of him killing his girlfriend Popclaw to the media. It dawns on a train that he can't do anything to Starlight without sealing his own downfall, and lets her keep the compound V. He then silently leaves the room, and Starlight breathes a sigh of relief. While strolling through the city, Kimiko wishes to return to Japan, but Kenji informs her that there's nothing to go back to as Homelander has already ruthlessly destroyed their village. He then explains that Shining Light was right all along and he seeks to exact revenge against Homelander, and asks her to join their cause, which she vehemently declines. The siblings then fight, but Kenji manages to throw Kimiko into a building and runs away. However, Kimiko sneakily catches up to Kenji and puts him in a chokehold until he passes out. Eventually, the others find her, and they throw the unconscious Kenji in the back of the van, with Kimiko watching over him. Moments later, Billy punches Huey and tells him never to come between him and Becca again. Huey stands outside for a beat, contemplating if he should continue working with Billy, when MM calls for him to get in the vehicle. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.